uh, last class we discussed about the uh, basic uh, introduction about the MapReduce. What is Mapper? What is uh, Reducer? Uh, how the flow will be there? So, uh, and I explained it theoretically. I explained the how we can uh, do the uh, uh, word counts uh, by using the MapReduce program. So I given some examples. So I think if you, I think J E and Ramon, if you go through the uh, last class video, video you, you can get uh, some idea. Okay. Uh, I think uh, if you want to implement the MapReduce program, we need to write the uh, Mapper class, Reducer class, and Driver class. Okay. Before going to that one, if you want to practice the MapReduce programs in this VM, uh, we have the uh, all the uh, whatever going to I'm explaining. All the MapReduce programs will be there. Uh, I think uh, in this path, I will tell you this path. Home training uh, HD underscore workspace. We'll have the uh, all the programs, code code programs, and other uh, what are the programs I'm going to explain in this time. So all the MapReduce programs will be there here. Simply uh, you need to import and you need to uh, create the jar and you need to run the jar in the command prompt. Terminal you need to run the this jar file. Okay. Before going to that one, if you want to practice yourself, we have the Amazon book. So how how you need to uh, create the how you need to compile the Java files how you need to create the jar now to run the MapReduce jobs you will have the theory part also you can go through this one and also how uh, you can open the Eclipse and where the uh, workspace will be there and where the all the MapReduce programs will be there how we need to import every uh, each step will be there here. You can go through this one, and uh, to, uh, we, now we'll go through we'll go with the now we'll uh, run the basic word count program. So how we need to create the jar file? Every step will be there. After that, how we need to run the uh, this word count program? This is the command to run. This is the Hadoop Hadoop jar. This is the command. How we uh, for the HDFS command, we have the Hadoop FS like that for running the MapReduce program. Uh, we have the Hadoop space jar and we need to run the jar file. Then we need to specify the driver class. Then input and output like this. The syntax will be there for running the MapReduce program. Okay, uh, now we will see how the mapper will be there. What we will write in the mapper. We'll discuss. First, we'll go through the mapper. I think last class I already explained uh, how we need to, what are the jars we needed, how we need to import the jar files. So these are the some jar files, Hadoop jar files. This Hadoop core jar will have the all the related to MapReduce and the HTTPS related uh, all the classes will be there in the Hadoop jar file. If you want to uh, import uh, uh, the jar files to uh, our project, we need to go for the build path and configure build path. Then we need to give the external jars. So uh, where where we install the Hadoop, in that we, we will have the lib folder, in that lib we will have the all the jar files. So we need to import the, uh, we need to add the all the jar files to our project. Then we can uh, run the MapReduce program. Okay, uh, for implementing the mapper class, we need to extend the mapper class. This mapper class will be uh, there in the uh, Hadoop uh, API, Hadoop MapReduce API, this mapper class will be there. For mapper, we need to pass the uh, arguments. These are the uh, generic arguments. So, these four arguments, I think uh, last class I explained. This is the uh, input key, this is the input value, this is output key, output value. So, 
same uh, these uh, things only we need to we, we will receive as a key uh, uh, input key values and uh, output key values same uh, data types we need to emit from the mapper so uh, this is the these are the uh, data type and while emitting all while uh, through, uh, while the output of the mapper uh, data types are the key data key is the text and the value will be the interitable like this only uh, we need to emit I think last class I explained why the writable I think writables are for this implement for uh, internally this writable will implement the relation concept so uh, from mapper to reducer we need to uh, pass the data through network so that's why only everything uh, whatever the things we uh, we are uh, emitting from the mapper we will have the data types uh, which implement the writable class so all these uh, text interwritable and uh, other other uh, all the data types we are using the uh, MapReduce class we must implement it by the uh, this writable so that's why only in MapReduce we are uh, using all the uh, data types that are writable okay uh, coming to this mapper logic word count thing so in a word count program in mapper what we will implement me simply uh, I think we uh, for this mapper method uh, will receive the each iterator it will re receive the one line each line uh, one line one line it will receive so for each line what we are doing means first we will uh, get the value means we will get the each line so this line we are trying to split using the this reject this is the uh, uh, a regex pattern for splitting the words so if you have the more than uh, uh, one letter we will uh, split it as a words so it will have the uh, list of words so these words we are returning as a uh, key and the value always we are returning as a one why means each word count is one so that's why we are returning as a one so uh, like this we are emitting key and value so key is the text and value is the int, int. so that's why we are returning interitable so like this we are returning the uh, all the uh, each line words we are splitting and we are returning so that's why uh, this is the logic for that one we are uh, writing the logic here so this is simple logic for splitting the words and uh, we are returning like this context uh, uh, we will use the context object for the emitting or uh, for uh, throwing the output uh, a mapper output mapper or reduce output we will use the context object next coming to reducer a reducer what will do means reducer we will do the uh, most we will perform the uh, aggregation related operations uh, like uh, uh, means uh, counting the words or uh, some the uh, we, uh, if you want to perform the count sum and minimum maximum like uh, this kind of aggregation operation uh, we will perform in the reducer class so uh, same like mapper we will uh, extend the reducer and uh, same data types we will receive the int, uh, sorry text interitable text interitable <coughs> here we will have the reducer method so for each different key this reducer method will call one time so here uh, here we will get the key and the list of values uh, related to this one so these values we are uh, in uh, for loop we are iterating and we are uh, some suppose if, uh, one key uh, one key uh, one word is repeated several times so here, here we are trying to uh, sum the all the uh, list of values we are trying to sum so final key and the, uh, the sum we are written so final output how we will get means key and the sum we will get so this is the reducer output we will get the key and the sum one for this 
we are the key and the sum we will get like this we will get for the uh, for integer input how the integer input will be there means key and the list of values will be there these list of values we are iterating and we are summing in the reducer so finally we will get the key and the uh, count final uh, sum we will get as a reducer output this reducer output we will store into hdfs <coughs> suppose if, if you are using the local mode it will be normal uh, uh, line expression normal os it will be stored if you are using uh, pseudo distribution or the multi distribution mode we will store into hdfs okay now try to will run it and uh, we will check how how we can run with this map this program okay this is about the mapper and the reducer uh, we need to extend the corresponding mapper and reducer class we need to implement the logic in the if it if, we, if it is mapper class we need to implement the full logic in the uh, mapper method map method and reducer class we need to implement the uh, this aggregation uh, logic in the reducer method we need to implement okay uh, how we need to run this mapper and reducer class we will have the uh, driver class in this driver class only we need to we need to implement the we need to configure the uh, all the thing we need to configure the all the mapper reducer and the, uh, all the uh, what is the input file what is the output file output path everything we need to configure in the driver class <coughs> so here uh, first we need to say uh, we need to create the one job uh, object so for that job ob object we need to pass the uh, configuration and we need to give the name for the uh, that particular job we need to give and uh, we need to specify the this is the driver class name we need to first we need to specify driver class name what is driver class then what is mapper mapper class what is reducer class like that what is the input format uh, i think last class i already explained uh, we have the different input format uh, by default we will use the text input format so we will uh, so here i am passing the text in format so like this we need the map what is the map output uh, key value <coughs> we need to specify like this what is the output means reducer key value oh, we need to specify same way we need to specify the what is the uh, input and what is the output so this input and output we will receive from the uh, terminal while running the program we will pass the input and output so that's why uh, we are passing arguments. Okay, here one more thing means uh, generally we will run everything from the main method, but we are using the one more uh, uh, class called tool run tool runner. So why we are using this tool runner? I will explain the next class. So generally instead of using the tool runner and run method. We will uh, basically we will run it in the main class. We will run the we will uh, configure everything. But here we are using one more method, uh, one more uh, thing called tool runner. So next class I will <coughs> give the why we are using this tool runner. Uh, I will I will tell you. Okay, uh, this is about the how we need to configure the mapper class and. Uh, uh, how we need to configure the, all the related to mapper and reducer uh, input path and output path so how we need to do this is the we need to configure in the driver class ok now I'll, we will create the jar file and we will run it export right click on the project export java jar file here uh, okay. we need to specify the uh, here uh, just we need to load into any uh, 
where we need to load the jar file, we need to say this file. I'm going to load in the same uh, basic word count I'm going to do. Here I'm giving the name as a word count. <coughs> okay. Then finish. Okay, uh, we need to go to the that path home training HD workspace and the our uh, project is basic word code. So inside this one we will have the, the jar file. So we need to run the uh, this jar file using this command Hadoop jar word code jar. Okay, uh, here we have the uh, we need, uh, command to run the MapReady jar. We'll have the Hadoop jar, jar name, whatever the jar we are going to run it, we need to give the name. And this jar name, we need to give the exact, uh, okay, uh, we need to give the, what is the name. So, this is the jar name, odcon.jar, and this is the package. Uh, up to this one is package name this is the driver class what are the driver class we implemented uh, this this is the driver class we need to satisfy then we need to what is the input path and what is the output path input path and output path uh, will be the, uh, here So this path user screen commodity uh, this file I'm passing as the input. So in this file uh, for uh, for this file whatever the uh, for each word will get the count output will get as a keyword and the count will get. So output I'm going to store in the this path. <coughs> so user screen wc output I'm going to show the output. So we will run it. So it will be submit as a one. Everything if you submit anything to job tracker, we will call it as a job. So for each job we need to define, uh, for identifying we need to define the job. So once we submit the job, we can see the, uh, the job status in the job tracker. How we are uh, browsing the HWS files in the this name node, uh, this one. For this we are using the 50070 port for uh, name node access, 50070, same like we will have the 50030 job tracker. So here whatever, uh, uh, if you submit any jobs, here we will get running jobs, you will get, if it is completed, it will come under the completed job, if it is failed, it will come under the fail, we will see, if you kill or if, you, if the job is failed, how it will be there, we will see next example. So now if you start at the any job, map the job, here we will get name, whatever the name we specified in the uh, the driver class, we will get base code code job. And here we will get the map completed and reducer completed, we will get. So uh, I will explain the uh, what is this mappers and what is reducer? How this count will uh, will, be, uh, will be there? I will I will tell you. <coughs> Before going to that one, in our cluster we have the uh, two two nodes. So here each node we need to satisfy the ma our mapper capa map capacity and reducer capacity. So what is map capacity and what is reducer capacity? So uh, uh, each mission we, we need to uh, we will have the some cores CPU core so like dual core exa core like that will be there based on that one we need to specify the mapper capacity and reducer capacity so in, in, in now we are running uh, like a uh, VMware so VMware itself it will be treated as a 
uh, each machine has a two cores that, so that's why only we are getting the count as map map task capacity for and reduce the task capacity uh, but in some standard cloud era and some standard uh, number of cores suppose if you have the uh, in in our my cluster uh, each mission having the uh, suppose dual core dual core means each mission have the two cores suppose if i have the five node cluster total high have the uh, 10 cores five missions five into two cores total we i have the uh, 10 cores in my cluster 10 cores means 10 cpus so each cpu i will assign to the one uh, mapper task so then i can give the mapper capacity as a 10 and reduce your capacity generally uh, in some standards cloud error and some standards they will give the half of the reducer suppose if you have the uh, half of the uh, cpu core so if uh, in my cluster if i have the 10 cores then i will give the map reducer capacity as a 5 so this is the standard one why we are giving me so each map task it will in, run individually each mapper or reducer it will run as a uh, individually so uh, each uh, mapper or reducer task it will use the separate jvm so that's why only we we, we will specify the separate cpu for uh, processing and also we will pro, uh, provide the some uh, each mapper task some uh, this one some ram we will provide so uh, suppose for each cpu core if you give if you given the more uh, mapper capacity performance will slow if you want we can uh, specify the more mappers task for the each cpu but if you give the uh, each uh, task for the each core that will be good so while defining the mapper capacity so based on the number of cores cpu cores we will we, we will specify this mapper capacity and reducer capacity so what is this mapper capacity and reducer capacity so now if i have the mapper capacity 4 means Parallelly, parallelly uh, at a time I can execute the four mappers and red, if I have the more reducer, we will uh, run the more reducer. Next uh, example, I will explain uh, this one clearly. So then we will get more uh, about about the, this mapper uh, task capacity. Why, what is this uh, task capacity? You will uh, get the more idea. Okay, uh, I think uh, this job is completed. So for this we have the only one map and one reducer why we have the one map and one reducer so i will explain so we will go through the uh, input user srinu commodities this file only we give in so this capacity is 1.7 mb so means uh, one uh, one block is enough for storing the this uh, data. So that's why only so previous uh, last class I explained how we'll get the mappers number of mappers how uh, we need to decide means uh, we need to decide based on the uh, input split size. So input split size uh, by default it will be equal to the block. So if we have the uh, number of block equal to 1 then we will get the number of mappers equal to 1 that's why here it is showing the uh, number of mapper uh, mappers total equal to 1 so we here we are handling the income input data is one block only so that's why map uh, count is 1 reducer count by default 1 if you want we, we can increase to 2 and 3 next examples I will tell I will try to uh, change the reducer and how we can change the reducers I will tell you <coughs> then we'll change the uh, we'll run it with the more uh, by reducer count two or three we can run it okay uh, this is about the uh, mapper uh, count and reducer count next we will run with the one big file uh, I think we have the access log file 500 MB so then I will explain the more about the this mapper and reducer. So while running the uh, this mapper this program, if you want to more details about this uh, job, uh, this job here when it is started, when it is finished, how much time. 
so th these things for the uh, debugging or uh, if you want to uh, know the uh, uh, performance uh, if you want to for improving the performance we need to we need some uh, parameters how much time it is taken uh, how many mappers are running how many reduce are there so for that information if you click on the job we'll get the, all the things so we'll also get the information about the how many hdfs bytes uh, uh, readed and how much uh, how many hdfs uh, bytes are written so how many uh, what how many records are there for the mapper input how many records are there for the mapper uh, output so all the information it will be there in here these things we will call it as a counters counters is nothing but a it will give the statistical uh, information about the uh, statistics about the this map release program so here if you see uh, we will have the information about how many bytes uh, normal file bytes read it, uh, file bytes written same way hfs bytes uh, uh, read count and hfs bytes written so all these count will be there here coming to map release we will have the map input record total map input records are 59497 from that you can find the uh, mapper output records mapper output records uh, 3 lakhs uh, 48000 so here we are uh, these are the 59000 lines so from this we are from mapper we are emptying we are splitting as a word and each word we are empty that's why we are getting the number of map, map outputs at the discount same way we will uh, we'll have the reducer uh, input records also will be there somewhere here uh, reducer input records are same whatever we are returning from the uh, this one will get as a uh, reducer input and finally reducer outputs uh, output records so while returning from the reducer uh, output so we have the lot of uh, keywords as a same keyword so those keywords while returning from the reducer we will uh, uh, group or we will aggregate into reducer so that's why only number of uh, reducer output will get the less reducer output will get so now we will go through the uh, output folder how the output will will get this is about the uh, how the if you want to uh, optimize our uh, MapReduce program if you want to improve the performance based on the, these uh, details uh, we can uh, where where the uh, MapReduce programs are taking time so those kind of things we can uh, if you want to do if you want to take any benchmarks how much uh, uh, data we are reading uh, how much time it is taking how many map records are there uh, so based on this information if you want to uh, perform we can tune some uh, places and we can improve the MapReduce program so all this uh, information we will, we will call it as a counters okay next we will go through the uh, how the output will be there I think I already explained output we will get as a uh, part space R space 0 0 like that we will get so same way we will get the files so how many files will get based on the number of reducers for current example uh, we have the only one reducer so that's why uh, we have only uh, one one file uh, that's why only we uh, we are we are having the one part file so in this part file how the output will be there means this is the key and value so space is uh, the, this much of time space is this so that's why here we got the space also space and the uh, count uh, after that a, a it is uh, we have 731 times other words about is the 18 times like that uh, each keyword we can count the how many times uh, the uh, each word is there we can count so this word and word is the 22,000 sorry 2000 times so like this we will get the output and you can if you observe here the uh, reducer output will be sorted manner based on the by default it will be sort by the key whatever the key we are uh, returning so that key will be 
uh, sorted order we will get the output. So here we will see only some amount of data. If we want to see the next chunk, we need to click on the view next chunk. So like this we can see the full output from the browser. So same if you want to uh, through if you want we can see from uh, this terminal also we can see I think uh, last classes we practice this uh, if you want to see the what are the files in that path we can see user first we will see the ls command user srinu and wc output so these are the uh, files we have in the that output folder so if we want to see the data from the terminal we can use the cat <coughs> so here we will get the lot of data so that's why we will use the more then we will get only some data one minute maybe path will be wrong path ok so if we are clicking on enter we will get the more words so like this from terminal also we, you can see the output if we want we can see from the uh, hrefs uh, this browser also we can see and if you want to see we can terminal also we can see the output Okay, uh, now we will run the same program uh, on the different input. So previously we executed on the, this small file, now I am going to execute on the, this big file 511 MB. So we will try to run it. I am going to store the output in the some other uh, folder and input is the access log <coughs> so completed jobs will be come under uh, will be like this it will be slow it will be show uh, whatever the jobs complete here we can see and running jobs uh, we can see here uh, this this job we are running uh, currently we are running the job uh, on the access log uh, input we passed as the access log that file having the 500 mb uh, 500 mb file so total number of blocks for this file is the 8 here the total number of blocks equal to 8 so if you observe here how many uh, total maps are coming is 8 so we will go inside and we will check so total number of running are 4 why we are uh, running 4 so this will be depend on the mapper capacity so here we have the mapper capacity 4 means so what how many uh, uh, suppose if uh, in the job we submitted eight maps, eight maps, but it is running only four. Means so we are running the four maps parallelly. So uh, total submitted maps are the uh, map task are the eight, but it is running on the four. So based on the mapper capacity only, number of the mapper task uh, we will run the uh, parallelly. That will depend on the mapper capacity. Suppose if you have the mapper capacity with the uh, 10 means, uh, suppose if you have the my cluster uh, capacity 10, so then 8, uh, eight map tasks will run parallelly. So if 8 tasks will, uh, if, we, if we are uh, running uh, framework, if, if framework uh, runs the 8 map tasks parallelly, so it will be run very uh, fastly. So based on the mapper capacity only, uh, 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 how much time, uh, so we can increase the uh, performance. So suppose if I have the, uh, so uh, if, if uh, suppose uh, 
if I want to deal with the terabytes of data. So if I want to run the job on the terabytes, so in that time I will get the number of map task equal to uh, maybe uh, suppose if I uh, having the map task equal to suppose thousand map task. So if I have the if I having the capacity of the uh, mapper capacity of the four means parallel it will run four. If if four is completed, then it will go through the four four like that. So in that cases it will take lot of time. Means of that if you have the suppose if you have the hundred nodes, each one having the capacity of the uh, mapper capacity having the suppose if I, if it is having the uh, ten ten CPUs, so if each machine having the capacity of the ten. Now I have the uh, hundred machines, so hundred into ten thousand uh, thousand mapper capacity I have. So for my job I submitted the one terabyte. So suppose if if it is uh, submitted the uh, thou, uh, suppose uh, thousand twenty four uh, maybe uh, map task, then thousand map task will run parallelly. So same logic, same workaround logic what we are implementing. Thousand jobs will be run parallelly. So because of that one, this uh, uh, this one it will we will execute it uh, very fastly. So parallelly it will run uh, in the hundred nodes. So because of uh, this this parallel computing uh, we can uh, run the if, uh, if you have the large files we can run very fastly within within less time we can execute it that that is the uh, beauty of uh, this parallel uh, program so in hdfs how will be uh, uh, distributed to multiple machine uh, and how will have the scalability same like in MapReduce we will have the parallel computing so because of this uh, things uh, because, because of this parallel uh, uh, processing or parallel computing, uh, we can execute the large volumes of data within uh, seconds or within less time. That will be depend on the our uh, capacity. Suppose if we are dealing with the terabytes, if you have the large cluster, we can execute it in the within seconds. We will execute it. So we can analyze the data. That is the uh, uh, parallel uh, processing or parallel computing. Here, if you observe, uh, four completed total map tasks are eight, and uh, four uh, tasks are completed. Why uh, we have the mapper capacity of four? That's why four uh, completed parallelly, and next to four uh, map task is uh, executed. Uh, it will be run parallelly like this, uh, based on the mapper capacity. Number of mapper uh, mappers will, uh, needs to be uh, run parallelly. It will be uh, framework will run like that based on the mapper capacity. It will fetch the uh, based on mapper capacity. It will fetch the first number of uh, map tasks. Once that is completed, next bunch of mapper tasks it will take and it will uh, complete it like this. So we are coming to reducer. We have the one reducer. So. Uh, basically, once the all the mapper task completed, then only reduce the task will completed. Uh, uh, then only this reduce the task will start. But here, if you observe, map task uh, map task are seventy percent completed, but uh, parallelly reduce are also completed. But here the concept is here why it is reduce the task it means here uh, once uh, till all the map methods completed. Reduce method won't start. So here, uh, in why it is showing 16%. Why it is showing means just it will start the process of copying. So I think four uh, mappers completed. These four mappers output will try to copy to the wherever the reducers are there. It will try to copy the mapper output to the reducer. So that's why only here it is showing the 16% completed. So, uh, but it won't uh, start running of the reducer method. Once all the map um, map methods execution is completed, then only reduce method. In reducer method only, we are implementing the aggregation logic. So it will take the all the mappers uh, output. Then only it will try to execute the reduce uh, operations. So before that one, it will try to copy the whatever the mappers completed. Here we completed the four mapper. These output uh, data it will try to copy to the reducer. So why uh, for that's why only here it is showing reducer uh, sixteen percent is completed. So this is about details about the uh, mapper task and reducer uh, task and what is the mapper capacity and uh, uh, what is about the reducer.
I think I hope uh, you will have some clear idea about the, this thing. So I think almost it is completed. So same things we can see uh, through a terminal also we can uh, see the how much mapper is completed, how much reducer is completed we can see here. So here if you observe uh, I think a number of map tasks equal to 8. We, we will uh, lot of data it will emit from the mapper task. So in these cases if we use the red, only single red digit lot of performance delay is there. In these cases if you use the more red digit, if you use the uh, red digit count to 2 or 3 same like uh, mappers how it is running parallelly. So reduces also will run parallelly. So if, if the number of uh, if, if reduces are getting more data, uh, 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 map uh, so mappers are emitting more data, then we'll get the more data for the reducer. For passing the reducer, it will be lot of burden will be there. So that's why instead of using the uh, single reducer, if you use the more reducer, two or three reducer, uh, we will uh, it will be uh, complete in the less time. So instead of uh, one reducer. Uh, running the one reducer, if you increase the count to two or three, then two or three reducer will run parallelly and reducers also will run uh, fast. So uh, for this 500 MB we are taking the nine minutes. So here we are running in uh, normal uh, very low, uh, low RAM and the low CPUs. That's why it is taking uh, nine minutes. Now uh, suppose if we run it in the uh, this one uh, large cluster it will take very few seconds. So previously while running uh, I executed uh, 100 GB uh, data also that will be running very a few minutes, 2 minutes, 3 minutes like that. Uh, GB of data it will be single uh, 1 GB data it will run in seconds it will be executed. So here uh, we are running with the only 1 GB, 2 GB RAM but in production machines we will have the uh, master will have the 32 GB or 64 GB RAM uh, and we will have the uh, 10 cores or 12 cores each each machine will have the 12 core or 16 core CPUs will be there in production so in that cases uh, we will have the if you suppose if you are maintaining the 10 or 20 node cluster also uh, we will uh, it will be executed very fastly within seconds we can execute the uh, data so for practicing we are using only 1 GB and 2 GB uh, uh, in, in VM we are assigning only 1 GB and 2 GB so that's why only it is taking a lot of time for 500 MB I think it is completed for completing this one we have we, it is taking how much time it is taking we can see here how many mappers it completed how many radius are completed you can see here and also if any uh, map task is completed <coughs> here it will show uh, I think uh, I think task atoms also I think I explained so next example we can see task atoms also so if you come to here number of map input records we are getting 4 million 4 million uh, uh, lines are there uh, for that 500 MB file mapper output records are the this much 106 million means uh, 10 cores 63 words we emitted from the uh, mapper output so these are the mapper output record so in, in uh, for this we have the only one reducer that's why only it is taking a lot of time if you increase the number of reducer equal to 2 maybe some uh, it will be run a little bit fast maybe we can improve here we can check the number of reducer input records are with this one and number of reducer output records are the 88,000 so some keys may be, uh, will be some words will be repeated more times so that's why we are getting the discount you can go through the output file so same output will be same so here we have the only number of reducers equal to 1 so that's why only we are getting the uh, this uh, file also 1 so next next time 
same data we will execute it uh, with the number of reducers, uh, more number of reducers. Then we will check how the uh, it will be there. We will check. So same way, uh, it will be sorted in. Uh, each will be sorted. So here we'll have the lot of words. We'll go through alphabets. Then we'll get the clear idea. So it will be sorted in the, based on the key it will be sorted. So each word how many times uh, repeated we can check here. So like this we can analyze the data. So we can write the mapper and reducer class and uh, we can uh, how much time it is taking, how many records are for the mapper reducer we can check here and output we can uh, we can see uh, in the output folder we can see uh, here we will see same program we will see the uh, how we can increase the uh, number of reducers we can see I think we have one uh, we need to set one property I think job dot We will have a one method called set number of reducer task equal to we can here we can set the two three or uh, we can set more uh, if you want to increase the number of reducers we need to uh, <coughs> this uh, like this set number of reducer task equal to like this we need to <coughs> configure <coughs> so if you configure from the this Java class again we need to compile and we need to generate the jar file and we need to run it so it will be a little bit uh, uh, complex means again we need to change in the class again we need to uh, uh, create the jar file instead of that one instead of changing in the class we can while running itself we can do it while running itself, we can set the that property number of digital property we can set. So for setting this, okay. Here, uh, this command line itself, I'm going to set the number of map this task equal to. I can set to any three or five. I can set. Okay, I can set to three or five. I can set number of map this task equal to three. Mm. So here I will uh, I will tell one point. Okay, uh, while uh, <coughs> I will start and I will explain. So same job. What I am doing means instead of setting the or uh, number of map reduce, uh, uh, property in, in inside the class while learning itself, I am setting number of map tasks equal to three. So if we go to uh, now, if we go to job tracker, you can see the number of uh, this one equal to. 3 you can see 
so these are the uh, past two jobs one and two this is the new job three here if you check number of reduce is equal to three number of mappers will be same it will be based on the uh, input size and the input split size it will be divided into number of mappers Re reduce the task if you want we can increase uh, suppose if a lot of time is taking for the reducer we can increase to three or five we can increase uh, but based on the reducer capacity on the number of parallel uh, how many reducer will be run on the parallel that will be depend on the reducer task it will be different so like this we can increase the uh, reducers we can increase so for reduce the number of for setting the reducer we use the this one so this thing we will call it as a generic uh, command parameter so if you want to run the generic uh, whatever the map reducer related to generic uh, uh, parameters we need to use the tool runner so why we are running the this tool runner first uh, if you want to set the uh, parameters uh, or setting param uh, parameters configuration parameter if you want to configure through command line uh, through terminal itself so we need to use the this tool learn suppose if you all the uh, this uh, configuration map is related to all the configuration if you did in normal main method we can't use the this facility this uh, generic uh, 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 generic uh, command parameters we can't uh, uh, we can pass the these parameters through uh, terminal so for that only we will have we need to use the tool learner this class we need to use and we need to whatever the parameters we need to uh, map reduce or the input path all the we need to set in the run method tool learner internally will have the <coughs> this one the run method we need to set the all the uh, this uh, configuration we need to set in the run method so by using this thing we can set the instead what is the main advantage mean if you want to set any parameters suppose if you want to set the any job tracker if you want to configure the job tracker uh, uh, or name note thing here we can we will have the property we can set the fs name we can set here and also job tracker name we can also set here so if you want to map this number of reducers if you want to increase and also some other uh, if you want to implement any compression kind of uh, things everything we can uh, uh, related to uh, configuration parameters we can set through command line so instead of changing in the uh, mapper class and again instead of creating the disk class simply for same uh, jar file and same program we can set it through terminal we can set it. that is the uh, <coughs> advantage of the tool learner more details uh, next class we will discuss So job job status will uh, through uh, terminal also we can get the job tracker. Sorry, job status. How much percentage map is completed? How much percentage is completed? We can. If you want, we can go a uh, little bit. Uh, how many mappers are? I think four mappers are completed. So. Sorry, uh, map task are completed. So map task are completed. So uh, each task where it is run, we can check also. If you go here, so it is executed uh, map, map master and currently it is running in mapper and task. So this task it is executed in this machine master. So which task is running uh, executed in which machine? We can if you want we can check inside. So, first two tasks are executed in the master. Next two uh, tasks executed in the slave one. If any errors are, uh, if any errors are there, here we will get, or we can check in the logs. If we want to see the each uh, map task logs, we can check here. So, if any errors are there, here we can, uh, here uh, errors will be displayed. We can check. Uh, what errors are uh, there we can check here
uh, by default counters will be 16 will be there uh, uh, which, if you want we can uh, we can we can customize the counters I think number of counters are there this count I think each count, each data it will call it as a one count so that's why we I think total counters here only 16 counters are showing so that's why it's showing as a counter if you want particular job we can uh, uh, customize you can define our own uh, custom counters also next classes I will tell how we can uh, customize the counters also if you want to uh, if you want to uh, add any other uh, counter uh, in our program we can customize so uh, whatever the counters are there uh, these 16 counters we will get here we will get our same counter uh, we will have here but here it will uh, all the uh, all the task uh, related the uh, counters here it will be shown for each task we will have the some counters some how much data it is there how many records it is handled so for this task it is handled the 590,000 uh, records so that information for each task how many uh, we can see here so that information it will be there in the, for the each uh, task counter we will have. So here if you check it in uh, number of reduces now if you check previously only one reduce task it is started and it is running. So now three reduces it is running parallelly because of that one we can improve the a little bit performance we can improve. So if, if you are having the more button to reduce we can increase to uh, more number of reducer we can increase. And also we will check the uh, uh, fail fail task also we will check. I think till now we saw only uh, running jobs and completed jobs only till now uh, here a job tracker is showing only running jobs and completed jobs. Uh, we will check the uh, failed jobs also we will check. And also if you want we can uh, suppose if any jobs is taking too much of time if you want we can kill the particular job if you want to kill the job uh, I think uh, this job is this MapReduce program is completed uh, before that one uh, we will check uh, if you want to kill Hadoop job kill we need to use this command Hadoop uh, job uh, space hyphen kill and we need to uh, specify the job ID what uh, job you need to uh, kill so we need to provide the job ID uh, if you if you submit uh, this command we can kill the uh, we can kill the particular job suppose if the job is taking a lot of time if you want to stop we need to use the we need to kill so for that we need to use the job I uh, Adobe space I job space iPhone kill and we need to use the uh, we need to uh, specify the uh, particular job ID we need to specify here so if you observe here um, this job also completed I think this job so we'll go through these two I think previous job is this one this same same job we executed with the number of reduces equal to one here number of reduces equal to three so for uh, for this job previous job it is taken one minute okay this is the job number three and also we'll check the job number two if we check this job number two it is taken ten minutes eight seconds for running this one so for this one 8 minutes 56 seconds so I think maybe I think you got the point I think so why it is uh, time is uh, decreased so here number of reduce equal to 1 so all the uh, 
records emitted from the mapper so only single records needs to be handled so it will be lot of burden will be there so for running the same logic on a single machine it will take some time so that's why I increase to number of releases equal to 3 so then um, I think 2 minutes uh, difference is there I think maybe uh, maybe I think 1 minute uh, some uh, 10 seconds or 20 seconds difference is there so like this if you increase the based on the data if you increase the number of producer so we can improve the a little bit performing so next classes we, we will see uh, we will have the some other concept to increase the performance we have the combiner so what is combiner I will tell a uh, few more things for improving the uh, performance how we can improve the performance so these about the uh, how we can uh, what is the uh, um, number of mappers, some um, number of reducers, how many uh, mappers will get, how many reducer will get, uh, based on the how many mapper tasks or reducer tasks will run parallelly. It will be uh, based on the mapper or reducer capacity, it will be run. So, so reducers, how many reducers we need specify means, based on the reducer capacity, if you specify, uh, it will be good. Suppose if you, here if I specify the uh, 15 reducer. Suppose if I specify the 10 reducers, my capacity is reducer capacity is 4. So, but it will be first it will be run the 4 parallelly, then it needs to be pick up the next 4. Like like this, we need to run. So, in the in that case also we will have the some performance issue. Uh, whatever the number of capacity. Suppose if you have the cap number of uh, uh, reducer capacity 10. If you give the 10, that would be fine. 10 reducers will be run. Uh, parallelly it will be very fastly so based on the reducer capacity if you uh, specify the reducer then it will be good okay uh, this is all about the uh, mappers and reducers uh, okay we will see one small thing then we will we, we will see how the uh, task will be failed we will see uh, that one uh, for that one I am going to uh, do a little bit change in the uh, code in mapper uh, sorry in reducer I'm going to I am going to generate some automatic exception or some other exception. So for that exception I am going to give sum by 0 and I am going to create okay. same uh, program I am creating the jar file. I will overwrite the existing jar file. So now, now we have the word count of jar. And here in this jar file, I'm same thing, same everything is same. Just I change it to a uh, uh, reducer class. I change a little bit uh, for generating the exception how uh, when the job will fail. Run. Uh, meanwhile, I think I have a question from Seka. Do you have the stop the services for the change? Uh, I didn't understand your question, Seka. Do you have to stop that? Or? Uh, no, no, no. We, we, we don't stop any services. Just we need to create the uh, one more jar and then we need to uh, update the same jar and we need to run it. Oh, okay, okay. Service means, uh, uh, I, I didn't understand. Service means what you are talking? You are, you are talking about the job tracker or task tracker? Or? 
yeah, yeah, job and the task. Oh, we, we won't stop the any job track and task track. It will be run keep on. Where, when we have the okay. changes in the existing map release code, we need to recreate the job and we need to run the same thing. Hmm. Yes, we need to create the okay. again jar file and we need to execute the same jar again. Okay, okay. So if you want to, if you want to do changes related to any map uh, parameters, in that cases, instead of uh, doing in the inside the class, if you use the tool runner method, we can pass the generic uh, parameters. We can pass through command prompt. Oh, uh, yes, a command prompt the terminal. We can pass it. Or uh, any re related okay. to logic, logic related things means uh, definitely we need to ch do the ch we need to uh, touch the code and we need to re uh, we need to, again we need to create the jar file and we need to run it. Okay. okay. Okay, now we will uh, check the I think maybe job maybe job is not updated or not. I think here we will get the failed task, so we will check it. Uh, so if, if any errors are, uh, uh, if any errors are there means here we will get in the fail and maybe I think it is taking a lot of time now. If you want we can kill it. Uh, now we will try to kill this job. For this, we I think maybe jar is uh, not updated. Maybe I don't know. We we will check it. I think uh, till now we didn't get any errors. So by killing the jobs, we will try to fail it. Then uh, tomorrow class I will tell you uh, how will how we can if any errors are there, how we can check it. Uh, how uh, number of how many items it will take. Uh, I I will show those things also. Uh, tomorrow class and we will practice the uh, few more examples are there we will practice those examples also before that one uh, this job is now it is the job is running I will try to kill this job how we can kill it I will show we need to use Hadoop job iPhone kill uh, we need to specify the job ID It will take some time. Okay. Here, uh, if it is fail, here we will get counts. If it is killed, means uh, here uh, we will get count. So already four tasks are completed. Number of tasks we killed is four, and this is also not started. So that's why showing uh, uh, three reduced tasks also killed. So like this we will get. So if we go to job tracker. Here we will have the completed jobs, running jobs will be there, failed or killed jobs will be there in here. So like this if you want to kill, uh, if it is taking too much time, if, if you did any something wrong in the uh, property job, so if you want to stop it in middle, if, if we need to use the uh, this command, Hadoop job, iPhone kill and we need to switch the job ID. So like this. Uh, we can if you want you can kill it. So this is all about the how we can start the MapReduce program, how we need to write the uh, mapper class, the deezer class, how we can write the driver class. In driver class we will uh, map MapReduce uh, class, we will define the, what is mapper class, what is reducer class, and what is the input path, what is the output path and key value uh, what is the um, mapper key value data types and what is the reducer uh, key value data types so all these uh, related configuration we will do it in the uh, driver class
so i think i hope i think you all understood about the number of mappers how we will get mappers reducers how we will get and if you want to check the how we can check the counters uh, so how uh, if you want to check any errors we need to go inside the uh, task and we need to check the errors so tomorrow we will check we will generate some errors and we will check how the we can check the errors if any map task are failed how we can check we will see it. Uh, I think uh, I hope oh, two minutes we will check that one also. I think uh, we implemented this error concept in the reducers. Once all the mappers completed, then only uh, we can see the errors. One minute we will run the same job again and we will check it. why uh, we implemented the uh, all mappers all mappers will be completed successfully in reducers only we implemented this sum by zero i think here i think we will get some automatic exception or we will get so in reducers only once reducers are started then only i think uh, reducer task will fail we will check that one I think map task almost completed. In map task, we won't get any exceptions. So we implemented uh, that exception logic in the uh, this reducer. So if you observe here, so number of jobs is failed is two. So uh, we will check. Uh, if you want, we we can check the what is the error also. We can check it. So if you want to check it, go inside the fail task. So here we will see. Errors. Basic. Uh, some details here we can see in error uh, column. We can see it. error is the automatic exception slash by zero. So if you want to see the more details, we can go through inside all, and we can see the full details about the errors. We are getting more errors. We can see here. So like this, if you are getting any errors, if if job is failed means here we will get. Here, if we check it, uh, previously I told task items number of how many times? Suppose uh, here uh, first attempt is failed. Error is because of this one. So it will try to execute in the four attempts. So if, if the ta particular task is failed in four tasks, full job is failed. So uh, first first attempt is is failed, and second attempt it is successful means job won't be failed. so in our case we are not uh, this job is not failing because of any uh, machine issues or hardware issues it is failing because of logical our program uh, errors so in that cases if it is try to attempts four times also it will be failed why means if if this task is trying to execute in the some other machines uh, some other task tracker so we will uh, it will try to execute in the same logic so that's why uh it will uh, number if you try to um, this task is try to uh, execute in the uh, next items also it will definitely fail suppose instead of uh, uh failing because of this exceptions or errors program errors if it is failed because of any machine is down or any task tracker is then down so then it will be succeed in the next ne next attempts so why they introduce the next items means in in our cluster there is a chance of failing the missions so if one machine is fail means uh, we can't uh, no need to stop anything so that's why only suppose if one task is uh, running the particular uh, task so middle of the thing it is failed so then job tracker what is doing next items it will assign in the it will assign for the next track, next uh, on the task tracker 
wherever the data is there, another copy of data it is there. So next uh, another task tracker will take care and will try to execute. So for that only they introduce the number of atoms equal to four. So it, it is failed three times, zero, one, two. Now it is trying to third, uh, fourth time. So if fourth atoms also fail means then complete job will be failed. Till that four atoms job won't be failed. So once the four atoms are failed, then full job will be failed. So this is the concept of the uh, task atoms. Uh, I think it is four times it is, uh, I think if you observe here, total number of reduced task is three. So number of atoms will be 12, uh, 12 will be there, four into three. So each task will try to attempt in four times. So that's why a failed uh, task atoms are uh, uh, 12 and after four atoms, if it is not success means it will be killed by automatically framework will kill it. So total failed atoms are will get as a 13 and the uh, this one uh, will get as a 3. I think uh, I think three uh, tasks are uh, killed so that's why only uh, failed atoms are we got as a 9. So if you go to each task we can check it. So each task uh, how many times it is, uh, how many atoms are there. So I think number of total fails are 9. So that's why some task it is, uh, 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 it is try to atom the three, task, three times like that. So this is uh, about the, if, if any job is failed, uh, how it will be there and what is the failed atoms and what is the uh, what is the fail, uh, failed task and what is the kill task. So if it is failed means it will come under the failed section, it, it will come. So all the map tasks are completed successfully, but uh, reduced tasks only uh, this uh, failed. So this is about the uh, failed uh, atoms and the what is failed job and what is the kill job, all the details about the, this one. I think I, I hope I think whatever the concept we explained uh, theoretically, I think you, you uh, I think uh, you uh, you have uh, some basic idea uh, how the practically also I think you got some idea how the uh, mappers will be there, reducers will be there, how the job will be failed, uh, how we can kill the job, so how we can see the uh, counters and how we can see the job status and task status. Uh, where we can see the uh, errors of the particular task we can see. Uh, these are the, all the details about the uh, this one. Tomorrow we will try to run it some other examples and we will we'll, we'll, we'll check the other uh, program, other examples we can check it. Okay, thank you all today uh, all about this class. Uh, thank you all.